Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video and on this video I'm going to show you how to connect that tractor right there, that tractor truck, how to connect it to the trailer. Now this step is very easy, a uh, very easy process to connect them. So the first thing that you need to do is the alignment. Uh, it's very important to align the truck. Let me show you from this angle. Um, it's very important to align the truck with the trailer that way you do not miss the trailer when you connect it so um, right there you can see my axle is aligned with the edge of the uh, the trailer that's the proper alignment and that's the trick to to always connect to, to the that's the trick to always connect uh, to the trailer that way you don't miss it so right there you can see the uh, the the edge of my uh, axle and if you follow it uh, follow um like you imagine there's a line right there the axle is aligned to the edge of uh the edge of the uh the trailer right there so those two things are aligned and that will make sure th that is going to um make sure that when i back into the trailer i properly connect to the trailer now and that is also important because see the the pin right here under the trailer you see uh there's this uh metal pin right there so this metal pin is the thing that is going to connect to the fifth wheel see right there see so you only have uh this uh this space right there that's the space that you have that this pin this pin is going to come in and it's going to uh, go all the way and latch and connect to, to the fifth wheel. So that's why, that's why since you have uh, this amount of uh, space to hook it up, that's why it's, it's very important for you to, uh, to be aligned. Because if you're not uh, properly aligned, then um, you're going to miss the trailer. So so uh, sometimes in rare situations if you're not aligned sometimes the pin instead of uh going inside the gap right there sometimes you'll hit the pin here and then the pin will keep sliding to the side it'll hit this and sometimes <clears throat> the worst scenarios it'll bend the uh the release handle and once this thing is damaged oh that's it um the fifth wheel cannot properly lock to the trailer and it's a big mess so and, and sometimes it won't go on this side the pin is going to go on the other side and go around so still uh, you're going to miss the trailer if if that happens so that's why it's very um important the alignment because if you get this right the alignment if you make sure this axle is aligned with the edge of the trailer you're gonna you you're going you're good to go to to go ahead and connect the trailer yeah you're not gonna miss the trailer so that's the the trick right here the trick is this make sure this axle is aligned with the edge of the trailer and if, if you have those two things aligned then you're ready to connect to the trailer and you're not going to miss it so um that's the the first step the alignment second step is that once um you we um we you back up you back uh into the you start backing up then you're gonna see uh you're, you're gonna make contact with the with the fifth wheel once the fifth wheel and the trailer both of them make contact then we're ready to go we continue backing it up all the way until we lock it we connect to the trailer all right so let me show you that right now i'm gonna get on the truck so you can see uh how is it gets done All right, so we're back, uh, we're in the truck. And uh, let me show you from here, right there. Okay, uh, 
right there see from the mirror i can uh, see it see the alignment the axle is aligned with the trailer so um uh, right there you can also see it right there so okay i'm going to uh go ahead and back it up and hopefully uh everything comes out on the video and uh, you get to see uh the whole process Okay, I'm gonna get off the truck so you can see I have I have made contact uh, with the trailer. All right, so here's a better view. Uh, right there, you can see okay the um, the fifth wheel, which is this one. The fifth wheel has made uh, contact with the with the trailer. So now we're good to go. We're ready to uh, go ahead and keep going reverse until we connect to the to the trailer. Now, the this is important because see, if um the reason you want to make sure you have contact with the uh, with the trailer is because see, if uh, sometimes the these trailers they're uh, they're a little bit um too high. And what happens if, if it's too high, the pin, the pin um, on the trailer is um, is going to go over the fifth wheel and then lands uh, on front of it right here. So um, sometimes, you know, that's going to happen because the trailer is so high that it's just going to go over and you, don't, you do not want to do that. So that's why if you make contact with the fifth wheel and the trailer like this then right here right there you, that's a better view see that's making contact so if you make that contact then there's there's no way that the pin is going to go over so that's why it's important to make contact so the pin doesn't go on top of the fifth wheel and land on the other side you know fall over so you don't want to do that so okay so now um right now since we have contact right there we have the con contact with the fifth wheel now we're ready to we're gonna continue backing it up until we connect to the trailer all right so let's go ahead and do that all right so uh we're ready to uh connect to the trailer Okay, we're connected, and uh, I'm gonna show you from a close-up. And uh, just before I um, I get off the truck, okay, now since I'm connected already, this is uh, the other step that you have to do is pull forward uh, just to make sure you're you connected to the trailer. So you give it a uh, a pull and to make sure you're really connected all right sorry about that shaking but um it does just a little pull to make sure that i have grabbed the trailer and it's, it's not going anywhere okay right there okay you get a better view now we're really connected and uh so another thing is uh you um when it's the when it's the first time that you're doing this you always want to double check uh like right now i'm showing you um the fifth wheel you could see that it's locked let me get a close-up right there 
Okay, you can see that there's uh, something over the, the, the pin, which, is, um, which means that it's locked. So um, you always wanna uh, take a look just to make sure when it's the, especially when you're beginning to, uh, when you're a, a beginner uh, driving trucks. So you wanna get used to checking the fifth wheel so, uh, to make sure it's, uh, it's locked. Um, after a while, you get to, um, because of the ex more experience that you get, you get to um, uh, pretty much um, have the feeling that um, you, you happen to get a feeling that you're locked when you uh, go in reverse. You, uh, once you, um, you, you connect to the trailer, you pull forward and you get that feeling that okay you you're locked to the trailer so uh you you get you get that experience the more you you do it so but in the beginning um when you're first beginning the, uh, it's a good idea to always uh check on uh, on your fifth wheel uh just to make sure uh it, you're locked um after a while then um i'm not saying you don't have to uh, it's always a good idea but after a while while you when you have experience then just by pulling it giving that uh after connecting the trailer and giving that pull forward um because of your experience um you'll know that you're locked um and sometimes you don't have to check the the fifth wheel uh except for the doubles on double trailers um that one yeah um i do recommend you always check your fifth wheel on when you're when you're pulling double trailers because that one is a it's a different uh, uh you know different animal as they say it different kind of animal when you're pulling doubles all right so that's it uh so right now i'm just going to uh lift my uh landing gear connect my hoses right uh which uh there's another video uh where i show you how to connect the hoses so they're right there so I'm gonna finish it off, connect my hoses, lift my landing gear, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope uh, you learned something, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, I mean, and write a comment. Uh, maybe you want me to do uh, a special kind of video. Um, I don't know, but um, uh, let me know on the comments, and thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. Thanks again.